Welcome to Charter Local Edition Northwest. I'm Nana Cowley. Today we've traveled to Olympia and we're inside the elegant stateroom talking to our lawmakers about what they're doing for you. My guest today is Republican Representative Terry Neely. He's from the 16th District covering southeastern Washington. And Terry, thank you so much for joining us. And thank you. Now as the ranking member of the Finance Committee, let's talk taxes. Okay, we'll talk <laughs> taxes. I've learned a lot about taxes recently since I've become the ranking member of that committee. And one of the biggest issues this year is tax preferences. There's about 650 tax preferences on the books. The reason for those preferences is that we have a B&O tax. That's mm -hmm. the primary reason. Business that and tax, occupation tax. It's a business and occupation tax, and that tax is assessed against the gross income of businesses. Mm -hmm. And there's only a handful of states that have such a tax. Mm -hmm. So the problem is if you're a company out there with a low margin or narrow margin, that tax can be a very heavy hit to businesses. Yeah, some people feel that makes Washington not business friendly, and it actually that, keeps business from, from coming here. That's correct. That's why the necessity for having tax preferences. And one of the big examples, recently in November, we passed a bill to help extend a preference for the Boeing company or for aerospace in the state of Washington. Mm -hmm. And it's a lot of money. It just extends it out to 2040, but it really helped keep Boeing in our state with the 777X uh, production of the new airplane, which keeps thousands and thousands of jobs in the state of Washington. Right. So it's a very important preference. But one of the big bills we're working with this year is one, it's called H. Uh, B 2201 and it is to review the tax preferences otherwise to make sure there's a good reason why we have that tax pre tax preference that there's a reason for you know business reason or jobs or economies to having that that preference and so a lot of businesses don't like that because they need certainty going going forward they need to know what tax preference and what taxes they have to pay Right. Now, some people feel that if you give a tax preference to a big kahuna like Boeing, that perhaps that should be shared equally, especially with our smaller businesses who might be struggling in their youth. Absolutely. And we've taken a, a good look at that issue, and we've put forth a lot of bills that addresses that issue. And uh, not too many of them have gotten too far. Uh, there's a pushback from the governor, for example, because he wants to eliminate about six tax preferences on certain industries and companies, and one example just bottled water in our state. But that doesn't help those certain businesses in that arena either. So we've got to be very careful how we handle the tax preferences because we don't want uh, companies to leave the state. We want to make sure we're competitive in our state. Well, after studying this as heavily as you have, do you think we need any tax increases? No, I don't think we need tax increases. We have about a $33 billion budget. I'm also on the Economic Forecast Committee, and I can tell you that our revenue has been very steady the last year, so there's not a need for tax increases. There's, there's uh, not a need to spend additional revenue because we don't have it. It's a supplemental year. This year we're not designed to change the budget drastically, and we shouldn't do that. Leave it as it was set last year. All right, Terry, thank you so much. And thank you very much. appreciate your time. Yes. This is Terry Neely, I'm Dana Cowley, and you're watching Charter Local Edition Northwest.